Hi, I'm Mary Phillips. I've got a diagnosis of bipolar depressed, which sometimes is also diagnosed. I've been diagnosed as schizoaffective. And I've been in and out of hospitals probably 18 times since 1983. For eight years, I didn't have any hospitalizations because the meds worked, but then I um, went through a roller coaster of in and out. And I'm back uh, to where, working to where, where I want to be in my mental health treatment. I think the most important thing to staying out of the hospital for me right now is knowing that I have a, an illness and knowing that the treatment um, works and not just relying on my own um, feelings that I'm okay and that things will be okay. It's hard for me to ask for help and I get tired sometimes of people um, looking at me when I get to be in one of my bad states. In my good moods, um, one of my good stages uh, of the illness, I'm fine and I can work and I can get things done. But that's not always what I want, well, that's not always the case. So what I'm working on now is preventing those bad times. In the last a few days, I got to Next Step. I came from a crisis center and um, a two-week hospitalization. So I'm hoping that this will give me the chance to, to stabilize and give me room to um, find out find myself right now. It's been very, very kind of hard because the last place I was in was negative, had bad vibes. And this place is very, very calming and I feel like some of my other problems like anxiety are, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to work on them here without stressing out about finding a place to live. When I get out of here, I don't know where I'm going, but I expect next step in my counseling uh, caseworker to um, provide some guidance in that and help me make a good decision um, in planning for the future. Um, my name is Adelina Sierra and um, I suffer from um, PTSD, OCD and borderline personality disorder and um, that one's a new one um, I just got diagnosed with that about three weeks ago and I guess the hardest part has been that one I was wrongfully diagnosed for so long and you know thinking that medication was gonna um, solve everything and it turns out that you know even though I've been taking my medication and taking it for so many years um, that without the right diagnosis I you know there wasn't any no no healing. There was no it wasn't getting better. And um, when I realized that, I uh, checked myself in to BES, and that's when they re-diagnosed me. And it made so much more sense that you know once you you really know what you're suffering with, then that's when you can actually start solving it. Um, currently, I'm staying at Next Step, and it's been extremely helpful. Um, I've been in dozens of places and. Um, I think being here and, you know, actually taking it serious and, you know, going to the groups and, you know, talking with the people here has been helpful. Um, most of the time when I go into situations like this, I, I tend to, you know, stay to myself, stay in my room and sleep most of the time and well, that didn't work so well, but this time yeah, I, I'm so much more hopeful and, and you know, getting what I need done and you know, just knowing that things are going to be okay and using this time to, you know, to just help myself. You know, um, there's not a lot, you know, if you, you kind of just stick with it and take it serious, that's the main part is taking it serious um, and using, you know, the tools that they give you here and not just waste the time. Um, when I leave here, I have um, plans on getting my own apartment and moving in. With my children and fiance and just using um, the skills that I've learned here especially being independent um, and depending on myself 
versus depending on others, that I know things will go well. Um, here at Next Steps, they have a lot of different groups, and when one of my favorite has to be, of course, the, the game groups and stuff like that. They they're fun. I mean, you know, it kind of gets you away from everything else that's going on. You get your mind off that and just being able to have fun and, and be around different people. It was the first group I went to was the game group and I saw one familiar face from that I had known from other group counseling sessions outside of Next Step. So it was a nice breaker for me to meet everybody and uh, I'm, I have very, I'm very shy and it was hard to, to to play the game, but by the end I had, I, I had a good time, and that was what was I was the accounts because I needed to relax. Yeah, <laughs> it, it it helps. It helps relaxing. I mean.